Hey everybody, welcome to the Davis's Kitchen, and I'm still yeah. Nikki. I'm still chilly. <laughs> but it, uh, yeah, I know it's kind of it's like, it's like always something every week, right? There, a little bit better because it's kind of it's at a different spot. There. I'm used to looking that way. I, hey, you know, I didn't set this up. <sighs> Hi, I did set this up. <laughs> yeah, you did. I did. <laughs> so, um, so let us know you're watching. Tell us where you're watching from, what you're having for dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, we are talking, well, not so much turkey tonight, but after last week's conversation, we shifted to side dishes. Yeah. And after a, f um, a few requests and a couple after dinner conversations mm -hmm. over uh, more, cocktails, more booze, <laughs> um, we are going to do a. Um, you, did you finally decide on hot honey? Hot honey. Okay, so we were debating a while ago. Mm -hmm. So we're yep, going to do yep. a, a hot honey glazed carrot, mm -hmm. um, which is good any night of the week, not just it for is. Thanksgiving. Yes. Uh, it's super simple in any any mm -hmm. night, any any meal. And a bit of an updated green bean casserole, mm -hmm. um, because green bean casserole has never been one of my favorites, but it's okay. kind of the old school. I'm just, uh -huh. I'm not a, yeah, so... So we're gonna we're gonna twist it up a little bit and mm -hmm. um, not use canned green beans. That's nope. that's clue number one. Yep. <laughs> um, and I have a pork roast in the um, tenderloin roast in the oven mm -hmm. already. And because it takes too long to cook. Yeah, they take a bit. So. Um, so I've got that going, and I have a probe thermometer in it, which we will talk about a little bit later in the show. Um, just just to give you some some tips and. Um, tricks on how to use use one of those <laughs> because with your turkey or any kind of meat to be honest with you um, they're pretty handy to have and yeah. make things a little bit more hands-off so it's easier hey, you know what when you're looking it ain't cooking so if you're trying that's to cook very by, true any kind of to, yeah. cook to a temperature um, any kind of roast or smoking or yeah. Um, you know, a roast in the oven. Mm -hmm. The more you open the smoker, open the, the grill, open the, the oven door, <laughs> um, the longer it's going to take to cook. So that's that's, right. that's why these are pretty pretty handy, and I really like the one that I have <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Not just because it's blue. Yeah, I know. Um. So hey, mama. Oh, my kitty cat. Yep. It's coming because he hears my voice. Um. So roast is in the oven. Mm -hmm. What else are we doing? Well, I'm I'm kind of. Do you want to do you want to drink first? Do you want me to? Let's get carrots going first because they've got to get going. going yeah. yeah, they need to work. Um, I can drink. I was time. doing as much. I wanted to do as much on the show as I could <laughs> for yeah. y'all. Um, but I did. I did pre pre do a little bit here. So, uh, okay. oh, switch me, do. switch me, so I can show them. Do so you want number two or three? Uh, is this number three where I'm standing? Yeah, where you're standing. There is you three. go. So I have already peeled. There you go. Um, and sliced, uh, peeled all my carrots, sliced most of my carrots. I left one so I can show you a couple of different things. I will be honest, I got lazy and I just um, typically cut mine on a diagonal on the bias. That's what I did tonight. But I'll show you a couple of other things as I'm doing stuff here. And let me adjust. I don't like how this light is hidden right now. I'm always trying to find the right lighting in a small, dark kitchen. So, okay, good enough. Good enough for government work. Um, okay, so I don't have very many carrots. I think I peeled maybe six or seven carrots, and that's, I, I could probably, no, I know. Uh, I could probably eat that many on my own. Man, that's a shadow. I just, I'm, okay, you're just going to deal with it. I'm sorry. Turn it down. Um, maybe getting, that's better. getting our cocktail parts ready to go so you can slice regular medallions and be you know plain <laughs> and that's fine if you want you can slice on the bias and be a little fancier um if you want to be really fancy What's up, Joshua? um i've got one of those somewhere in my collection of gadgets one of those slicers that's like um Ribbon, so you could have a little bit of a, you know, a curl Rip, to your a size. For her, for her pleasure. Type Shit. Shit. She oh. Got, oh my, we're not even five minutes in. <laughs> nope. Now, if you want to do something a little bit different, cut we'll, on the we'll bias. What? 
I'm talking to Josh. Okay. He's asking what the cocktail is. I said, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, cut on the bias and then do a quarter turn and cut again and a quarter turn and cut again and oh, a quarter man. turn and cut again. Quarter turn. Doesn't go as fast. Nope. Doesn't go as and fast. And I cannot for the life of me remember what you call these cuts. Um, quarter turn cuts. That'll work. It's got a That's fancy name. I promise yeah. it does. Um, but you just get a little bit more just of a yeah service surface area bite, and they're fancy and they're pretty. I'm gonna cut that one a little bit, um, and I'm gonna finish the rest of these off real fast. So you know a little trick there. Okay, moving something over here. Okay. Instant pot. You can see I don't have a lot of carrots in there. Nope. Um, and I I will be honest with you. <laughs> I'm, I got lazy tonight. <laughs> These are not going to cook at the same rate <laughs> because this one's small and this one's big. Um, in the Instant Pot, it's not going to matter much at all. Chili's going to cut my big ones up again. But see, I got some I got some big guys in here. So to make this like work like it's supposed to, you want as uniform of a cut as you can. Um, that's what your sous chef's for. Yeah, that's what my sous chef's for. So we're, thank you. We're going to add... We're gonna do something a little different and play off the chili beans mm -hmm. um, cocktail. And I'm going to use Prosecco from two weeks ago. Oh man. Because it's turned into cooking wine now. It has. A cup. And it's not gonna have a, a heavy wine flavor, um, but it is gonna have a little bit of a sweetness is it still to it. Does it have some bubbles in it or no? No, there's no bubbles there's in no it. No bubbles left. <laughs> no bubbles right. left. A um, little bit of a sweetness there, mm -hmm. and I'm going to add, um, just add sea that's salt, right. kosher that's salt. Rufino. So we didn't get Rufino this time. Yeah, you, know, you got Corbel's fine. I got Corbel. Um, I'm using a really big flake salt, but you guys don't have to use this. Oh, this is going to dissolve good. really well. That looks nice. Well, and I just I love different kinds of salts from different places on the planet mm -hmm. because they taste a little bit different. Yeah. Um. But regular salt, you know, is fine. You just want the salt in here. Okay. Well, I like that. But I love that big rock salt. And I am going to add a little bit of water just because it's going in a pressure cooker. And if you had chicken stock, mm -hmm. I would tell you to use it. I do not. <gasps> I know, right? What happened? Well, I don't keep it. I make I make it from bouillon because oh, it's just true. it's easier. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of bouillon. Chicken bouillon. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to stir so it. What, where, do they, where do they get bouillon out of? Out of the bones or? Um. Yeah, I would have to. Or is it like dehydrated <laughs> chicken stock? No, because if you dehydrate Condensed. chicken stock, it evaporates. Okay. So there's all sorts of seasonings and stuff in here. Okay. Um, Get those things going. Yeah, so we sorry. Make well, you booze. asked me a question that I can't answer. Man, I was I trying, like to, that. trying to softball you one, and man. Well, I'm having to think now. Yeah. I'm sure my mother can answer that for us. Oh, I'm sure somebody can. I'm sure somebody can Google that shit, yeah. too. <laughs> and answer so how, it. What is bouillon made out of? It would have to be gelatinized chicken fat bones something or another sure okay carrots any kind of vegetables take like five or six minutes mm -hmm. at high pressure mm -hmm. and remember that that does not include the time to um, bring it up to pressure mm -hmm. so it's going to be more like 10 to 12 to 15 depending on what yeah. you're cooking ready? okay we're ready to drink yep all right josh here we go buddy tonight's cocktail Tonight's cocktail is a spiced pear and bourbon sparkler. So we're going to tell you how to make the spiced pear simple syrup first because we made that ahead of time. Yeah, it takes a bit. It takes a bit to and you make want it that because cool you want it to cool a little bit, off a little bit. So we got a cup of pear juice. How do you make pear juice? Well, you use three pears and about a quarter cup of water and you just blend them up and they become pear juice. Or you could juice them if you had a juicer. Or, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you're really fancy and have have juice, or if you have canned pears, you can sure. use that. Yeah, and then you got 
a two inch nub of ginger. We've got two cinnamon sticks. We've got five cloves or approximately five cloves of powdered cloves. And then we have half a cup of brown sugar. So that's gonna make this simple syrup. So we want an ounce and a half of simple syrup. And an ounce and a half of simple syrup. We're gonna use Russell's Reserve for the bourbon. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> so does that spiced pear simple syrup. It now does. for my my uncle who is allergic to cinnamon. Leave it out. Leave it out and use um, ginger, clove, and allspice or, mm. or nothing. Ginger and clove would be fine. The spice really comes in with the ginger. It does. Bless you. Lemon juice, freshly squeezed, straight out of the plastic. I see you. You're such a good girl. Yes, you are. See, they dehydrated the liquid. I was right. So what, a half ounce of lemon juice? Okay, go on. And then, you're going to want to throw some ice in here. I will. Oh, you're talking about bouillon still? Yeah. Whoop. Whoopsie. Hello. And for the sparkler, fresh bottle of Prosecco. Or champagne. Or champagne, whichever. Whew. Cold, cold, cold. Yeah. About, about two ounces of Prosecco. And there you go. Ta da. Your little handy dandy bar spoon. Whoops. Missed. Did you splurt? I might have. Sugar, I'm not paying all, you Almost anymore. all over the camera's keyboard, the uh, computer, computer keyboard. keyboard. Yep, almost. I'm going to get my little paper towel. Wipe that up before I make a bigger mess. Oh, yeah, because that's really close to that keyboard. It is. Those smell so good. Well, they better taste really good, too, because grab your cup. That was like the go. perfect size glass, yeah. too. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yep, I'm good with that. Yep. Whoo. That's got a kick. I told you it's got a kick. It's good. It's 110 proof. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> yes. Mm. So there you go. That is very yummy. Yeah. A spiced pear and bourbon sparkler. I like it. Yeah. And it would go straight from Bon Appetit. Well, you know, we don't always come up with everything. No. But it's very good. It is good. Mm -hmm. Bon Appetit uses something other than brown sugar. I just wanted to use brown sugar in my. Well, it gives it a, a bit of a molasses. Mm -hmm. They use something for a caramel flavor, but I was like, no. Mm, no, brown sugar is easy. That's yeah. what, you know, real people in home kitchens use is brown sugar. Yeah. <laughs> it's some brown sweetener. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, Aunt Deb, it does. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers to us. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this would go well at Thanksgiving, too. It would absolutely go well yeah, at Thanksgiving. Pears are a fall fruit. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I need I need to grab a few things. So you you chit chat for a minute. Um, chit chat. Hey, Brady. Hey, Brady. Josh, it, Josh, it is delicious. I'm telling you right now. So good. I'll have at least one more of those. <laughs> at least. At least, because I have is that much pear. Three and a half ounces left on the pear juice. Sorry, I'm like digging for another stick of butter here. I'm sorry, I'm talking. You talk away. You That's talk why away. I wanted yeah. you to. So, uh, anybody else out there in the TV land having a nice little cocktail, having a nice little dinner tonight, making something good for you and your family, or just you? Okay. So, we're going to yep. do a couple things at once. Uh -oh. um, I'll take you over there. And tonight, we're also going to talk about. All right, I'll take you over No, there. you're fine. You're fine. All I'm doing is putting butter in to melt it down. Let's see, there's butter. Two big tablespoons of butter. 
Yep. And more in case I need it. We're going to melt that. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about how to time things. And part of that is knowing how long it takes to do things. And how long it takes to cook things. Right. And how long it takes to cook, to cook things. Mm -hmm. And if you need, you know, if you're in charge, <clears throat> I am this year. Um, if you need to chart this, you know, if, if you've never done the whole Thanksgiving day dinner before, write it out, create a chart, create a timeline, a map, whatever you need to do to help you know what needs to go where and when. Yeah. Um, the longer you do this, the longer you cook, the more years that pass by, yeah. <laughs> uh, the easier this becomes. So people are having some, Brady's having wingdings. And then the Johnsons are having brats, beans, and mashed taters. That sounds yummy too. Does, don't I don't know. What are wingdings, Brady? I'm like waiting for him to answer. I know. <laughs> He's going to answer. Why. He's not going to answer that that fast. Um. So I I could not find pearl onions. So the the way this is going to come together tonight, typically your kind of traditional green bean casserole is canned green beans. Cream of mushroom soup, um, condensed, mm -hmm. milk to loosen that up a little bit, maybe some butter if you're lucky. And on top of that goes French fried onions. And it's like, it's like mush by the time it comes out of the oven because mm -hmm. canned green beans are mushy anyway. They are. Um, so I am going to, I, I wanted pearl onions and I couldn't find them. Mm, pandemic probably. Um, so I'm going to substitute with half of a sweet onion and some shallots because I don't want a heavy, heavy um, onion. Oh, that's what chicken wing things are, chicken wings. Yeah, I wondered why you didn't know that. Well, I kind of was curious. I figured it was something, something special. And we're going to saute these off in our butter while we chop our shallot. Um, still the onion family, but not heavily. I'm going to use this to stir up stuff. Not okay. heavy onion flavor. You're fine. And we are going to make, I, I would show you how to make your own cream of mushroom soup, but my husband doesn't like mushrooms. So we're going to make. Yes. We're not going to use cream of mushroom soup. We are not. We're going to use some different seasoning. So you still get that, um, savory flavor that the mushrooms provide but not the mushroom texture. Right. Yes. That's awesome. And I'm kind of chopping, <clears throat> excuse me, chopping my onions so they're the size of my shallot, so they're the size of what a pearl, little pearl onion would be. The only thing I could find were cocktail onions and I just didn't think the briny in that cocktail onion would taste good, so. Nope, probably not. I'm gonna turn this up just a hair. That's fine. Got a little bit of a boo boo right here. I'm going to cut out. Don't throw the whole onion or whatever out just because there's one little boo boo. Well, Brady says use hen of the woods mushrooms. Oh man, Josh had steak and smashed taters. That sounds good too. We had steak this weekend. I don't know if you guys saw it on Nikki's Facebook page, but. Brady, chili won't eat any kind of fungus, mushroom, like nut. I am not a matter. fun guy. Mm -mm. Nope, not at all. Um, Morels. So, yuckers. in addition, we're going to use a little bit of um, cream cheese. Or next to the cream cheese in the grocery store is Neufchatel cheese, which is the French. Everybody tries to call it Neufchapel or something. People can't pronounce it. But it's French and it's light cream cheese, but less sweet and less fat. Oh. Neuf Chattel. Not Neuf Chattel. I think it's Neuf Chattel. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Neuf um, Chattel. And if you're lucky enough that you've got some place close that has German cork, that's even better because it's not, not as sweet even as this. So. Nope. No mushrooms. None of them, Brady. Not a one. Not a single one. We're going to cheat the mushroom on. flavor a little bit. That's right. With Neuf Chatel, or whatever you want to call it. Yep. So we're going to build a bit of a cream sauce with some 
sour, uh, not sour cream, cream cheese. Um, you don't need a lot of flour when you're working with any, I'm like out of room here. I'm just, just I don't know. there. Why don't you just hand it to me and I'll put it over here That'll so work that it you. doesn't. Okay. And here's the green beans. <laughs> we got bird's eye. Because I couldn't find fresh green beans. They're not in season uh, right now where we are. And the handful that were fresh at the grocery store were slimy. Ugh. So I opted for frozen. Um, so if you do use fresh or you can find fresh to use, cook them first. Cook them until you like them. If you like them mushy, be my guest. But I think um, fresh or frozen tastes better than canned, no matter how far you what, cook them what down. What temper are we going for? We're going for 140. All right, That's we're almost seven there. degrees away. Okay. Um, so when you buy frozen, steam them if they're in a steam bag like this. And these are long. Is that going? Oh, that's done already. Is it? Uh, and I'm just going to leave them this way. So I've got two bags because I didn't, you know, I'm not fixing Thanksgiving dinner. I'm fixing dinner dinner. But if I were fixing for the Thanksgiving dinner table, I'd probably buy six bags of these if I couldn't find fresh. So we're going to set these aside while that's going. Okay. Now, um, can you flip back to the big camera so they can kind of see me back here? There? Yeah, like way far away. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Um, I can't zoom in. No. Um, six minutes. So what it take us? This. It took us about fifteen minutes. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, up here on a on an instant pot on a pressure cooker is your release valve. I've done this a million times, so it doesn't bother me to hit that steam. Um, but this is steam, so be very careful when you do that. Let that steam release, and then I'll show you those carrots. And our pork's actually almost done. Is that the hot yeah. honey carrots? Yes. All right. All right. I need my creamy cheese. Mm -hmm. um, if you'll put like a the um, flour. Yep. How much flour do you need? Not quite a full tablespoon because it will thicken up pretty quick on me here. The other thing I'm going to do, I'm like losing my stuff here because I keep washing it out. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Just put it in there? Yep. And then you can use that to... Um, I'm going to go back to this old Prosecco. If you had white wine, that'd be... That's basically what this has turned into. This white wine with bubblies. Then no bubblies no more. No, about a quarter cup. Um, to that, I'm going to add a little bit of my bouillon that comes from evaporated broth. <laughs> we'll be doing that tonight. Not much, but it, again, it's we're cheating the savory flavor because we're not using. Hey, guess what? Yep. Okay. Sugar booger, you're going to have to move, girl. Now, this is what happens when you cook. A lot of things at once. You're going to be jumping back and forth between things. That's why you make your drink first. That's why you make your drink first. Um, because now, to get this out of the oven, I need to stop what I'm doing and shift gears over here. And we'll talk about that timer after I get green beans in the oven. But let's take a look at this pork. Yep. You got it? Yep. All right. We're going to leave that right there. We're going to... Turn our oven down. All right, you dirty minded people don't. Oh, let them go. I'm turning my oven down to 350 because I don't want these green beans to burn up. All right. Sugar, you got to go, baby. Get that. Put this. To that, I'm going to add about a quarter cup of cream cheese. Now, again, I'm not making a lot of green bean casserole tonight. Um, did you open this can right here? Yeah, sure. Things over there. Um, so I don't need a lot, but if you're making this for, you know, eight or 12 people, you're going to need more cream cheese. 
so so far for the savory, we have um, the salt and the seasonings that are in the chicken bouillon. And that's really about it right now. You want the water or no? Mm -mm. Drain, please. Drain, please. Mm -hmm. And we want this cream cheese to melt. Um, and again, cream cheese, the Neufchatel, cork. If you don't like the sweet. Um, not adding milk. Thank you. Welcome. Now, these little guys, water chestnuts. Yeah. Um, like what you find in Chinese food. Yep. We're going to dump those in. Why? Because I don't like French fried onions on top of green no, casserole. We're not frozen over here. Right. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Um, and this actually is going to give us that crunch that we're looking for. I'm going to just a wee bit of there water. Yep, that's... I'll get you a wee little bit. I'm walking around the dog here. I see. You Thank you. All right. Is your new, no, new, new Chatel isn't empty. No, it is not. Okay. So water chestnuts. Some onion, water, some new Chatel. Because I couldn't find, I, I wanted pearl onions. That's probably yeah. what I would use here. Um, we're going to put. You see that what, I'm, what they see? I am. I see what they see, and yeah. they can just be in the, just hush. Yeah. A <laughs> um, little bit of the same salt that we had in our carrots. Yeah. Big old rock salt, but it's going to dissolve. Yeah. Here's where the savory really comes in. Lee and parents. Lee and parents. Because it's anchovy, kind of a base. And. And umami. Umama. This is kind of a massive cheat. Mushroom flavor. Yeah, mushroom and company from Trader Joe's. Mushroom and company is the brand name, not what's necessarily in it, um, but a multi-purpose umami. So umami, um, if you've never heard that term, is Japanese, and they consider mm -hmm. it kind of the next taste um so we've got oh, yeah. sweet sour bitter what am i missing sweet sour bitter salty mm -hmm. umami is the next one gotcha and that's what mushrooms are and that's what soy sauce is and what worcestershire sauce is okay and goes these bad boys make sure you don't get one stuck in a wrinkle if you want to cut them so they're a little bit Easier to eat, go for it. Oh, that one's stuck in a wrinkle. And we're going to toss this together. And you know what? If you want French fried onions on top, go for it. If you want like crunchy jalapenos that come in the same can, go for it. I've got something else that, do you want crunchy on top? No. Okay, then I'll show you what else you could do. I just made a mess there. It's okay, the dog will get it. Uh, no, um, I won't get it. You want me to hold something for you? No, I'm just going to go over here. All right, I'll... Well, yeah, don't worry I'll about it. I'll get that phallic symbol off the screen for you. They're, they're not going to be able to see. I just need space. I thought you were going to put it over there well, on top of the I'll, cutting board. I needed more space that I okay. don't have. <laughs> there we go. Um, just remember to cook your green beans if you if you don't use canned. If you like canned, I always think they taste like the canned, so I just am not a big fan. But, okay, here we go. Now I'll stick that over here. Uh, I'll turn it back over there. Sorry. It's okay. And notice, too, there's not a lot of... Move left with it, would you? The whole thing. And away from you. There you go. <laughs> not a lot of liquid here because guess what's going to happen as these cook um, those green beans are gonna oh. lose some more liquid gotcha so we're not done cooking them yet no oh we're not it's a good thing we're letting the the pork loin um mm, 
Oh, so fed up. What, what's that called? Rest. Rest. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. rest. Yeah. Looks like it. It looks like it's had a hard day. <clears throat> All right. No crunching on top for us, but I'm gonna stick this in the oven so it gets going. Or maybe even a schlong day. I mean, a long day. Would you tell Alexa to set 15 minutes? Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. You wanted something crunching on top, but you didn't want the same old, same old. Because we've got water chestnuts. So you could put a little soy sauce in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, chow mein noodles. Chow mein noodles would be, would be really good on top of that. What am I do that? do that? Um, I'm ready for round two. Okay, round two. I am going to move a pan. I'll throw a couple more ice cubes in there. And take a drink. Try to make this a little quicker. Hey, when you're dealing with your instant pot, your pressure cooker, <laughs> glove up. No glove, no love. As the pork roast said, pork loin said. <sighs> No glove, you Bernie. That's right. All right. I'm going to come over underneath the, so you can kind of see. I'm not sure I can keep the steam from. There you go. So you can, it's just like boiling. It just doesn't take as long. Yeah. So you have all this liquid and a mess that I made right here. Shame on you. Mm -hmm. So we're going to straighten that out, and then I'm going to fix everything right in the pressure cooker pot. And then we'll pour it down in a bowl. And again, I just made enough for dinner. I didn't go overboard here. But this is very hot. Very warm. Yeah. All right, so to this, we're gonna add the end of our butter. So another tablespoon, I'm stuck. Everybody still out there? There we go, got it. And if you wanna still with us? refill. Yeah. I'll reload the butter. Yeah, ask me questions, guys. That's kind of why we were focused on. The updated side dishes to go with next thursdays yeah so you could ask questions about how to do things now we cook these in some salted boozy water so that salt largely will have gone away yeah. so i'm going to just use regular a little bit of sea salt in here to get some of that back and i'm going to use now, I don't have the heat on this. Normally, I would do this in, in the Instant Pot. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have any gas on this, so that butter is going to take a minute to melt. But it's really just melting with the heat of the carrots. I have, you guys can't really see that, um, from our favorite wing show, the hot ones. This is hot honey. If you don't want to use hot honey, use regular honey. Yeah. But we're using hot honey or brown sugar or a combination of the two um, for this amount of carrots it's it would take maybe a tablespoon of honey total maybe um brady asked why we didn't bake and wrap the pork schlong because uh, i don't have any bacon thawed and i was trying to get shit done okay that's why <laughs> and i'm going to stick this back on the pressure cooker so it melts but as you're doing this you're wanting to heat it through enough to melt the butter, coat the carrots, and then things are going to stick to the carrots as you do that. I'm going to do this back over Josh, here. Where Josh says he is fascinated by the butter cutter. Well, it's on my website. It's on the website, the Rooted in Foods website? Yeah, there's a link. Okay. I've there's got a, a, like a, an Amazon shop that there's a link in. Okay, so there's an Amazon shop mm -hmm. to that. You can get it on Amazon. We've sold a couple of those so mm -hmm. far. They are. Uh, I have. They're fascinating tools. Um, the first one I had, I had for about five years, and then I finally broke it. Broke it. 
hey, they don't, nothing lasts forever. And well, not yes. anymore, certainly. Um, okay. What's our timer over there? You want to face that up? Um, right now, I'm not wanting to kill my carrots. Kind of letting that butter melt a bit. Man, we're scooting along. It's, well, it's going up in temp. Well, it's because it's resting. Yeah. Well, and, and that's a really good um, observation. Yes, good observation. Yeah. Pork, uh, you really want pork to kind of come out in the 135 to 140 range because it's going to keep going up. Um, USDA is going to tell you to cook it high or cook it to a high temp. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not a big fan of that because I think it draw, dries it out. Yeah. So as it rests, however, it's going to continue shooting up in temperature. So like right bit. now, mm -hmm. it's at 153. Yeah. Now it's also been sitting on a hot oven, so that's not. Yeah. Hadn't been sitting in an ice bath. No. Uh -uh. Um. Hang on a second. Again, <laughs> when you got things going on. So Aunt Deb says you got your Uncle Dan hooked. We bought two butter slicers last year, one for home and one for the cabin. Ha! <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Love it. All right. I'm gonna let those go and glaze. We bought a couple of, we've we've sold a couple of things we've sold through a this. Yeah. Few things, yeah. The, the butter cutter. Everybody likes the butter cutter because it's it's graduated. And it's like it tells yeah, you, it tells you what you're how many tablespoons you're doing. Where's my drink? Half cups, third cups. Quarter, eighth of a cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's graduated. Okay. So, probe. Um, Your Debbie asks, could you use regular honey with a little minced jalapeno on those carrots? Absolutely. You could, but it's not going to be the same flavor as the hot honey that um, you get from Well, but it would ones. give you, yeah, it would give you a good little punch Still of heat. kick. But... Or regular honey with chili powder. Or smoked paprika, or any combination thereof. Um, I would Flip saute. Here. I would saute the uh, peppers first, though. Um, all three. All four. All three. So it's this down. is it. Upside I'm, down. Oh, okay. oh, you're upside. Yeah, there you go. There we go. This is the hot ones. Move it up and over. Honey. There you go. And it's honey infused with pepper X by the heat mist. That's what we're using. Um, it's spicy. It's got yeah. It's, it's not, got a kick to it. It's not got that flavor of the jalapeno, but it's got that real kick in the teeth. But with the sweetness of the carrot, yeah, it's good. and the prosecco I cooked it in, the sweetness of that white mm -hmm. wine, it's going to be a nice little balance. Yeah. Um, I'm letting these cook because that's going to allow that glaze to kind of stick. Well, I don't know if it's marine proof, Josh, but it's uh, that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, the the markings aren't in crayon, so it's um, okay. So let's talk about this probe thermometer situation. Think, think mill dots. Are we? Yeah. yeah. So you can buy probe thermometers for twenty five, thirty bucks, probably. Um, this is a ThermoWorks Chef Alarm, and very many different settings. Um, you can set low temp if you're cold smoking something, that would be great. You can set high temp, which is usually what I do, for whatever temp you need it to. The probe piece sticks, it just sticks in the side here. Yeah. So this all stores separately. Because um, it hit high temp. It did, I'm gonna turn it off. Okay. But it's a nice little arm, a little flat little yeah. backlight for it. So the probe on something like this, you want to stick from the side as far into the center as you can get, because this is where you're wanting to temp from. It's the center. Um, and you can see how that's a pretty good size probe on the thermometer. It would have been more fashionable to probe it from this end for this for this particular loin. It would be painful also to probe from that end. It would. <laughs> would it you would. take the probe, almost please? Like a, almost like a Q-tip is what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> this is a little sharper than a Q-tip, though. We'll, we'll slice that here in a bit. All right. Carrots are good. Oh, I can smell that honey. Mm -hmm. That is a wonderful smell. 
All right. I I'm can gonna smell it. Put them in a little glass bowl so you guys can see them. <laughs> so again, when you're doing a lot of things, you're going to be moving around. So if you can't keep everything in your head, write things, it down. Keep things on paper, and then check mark. You know, check it off as you as you've done it. Get things in the oven and whatever, and use your tools. Uh, I'm getting this back to the widescreen here. Use so. your gadgets. Yeah, it's why you bought them. Make life easy. It You're dead in it, though. Mm -hmm. So just a few enough for dinner, but there you go. You can go show oh. them that. <laughs> and if you feel like yeah. you need something green on top of that, <coughs> scallions would be good. I wish you guys were here to see, to, to get a smell of this. Smell of vision? Yeah, but that. All right, I'm going to put our pork mm. loin right on top of here. That's so good. I'm taking a little bite. All right, this has rested plenty long enough. Slap it down. Mm. How are they? Good? They're probably hot. They're, they're good. They're warm. And not really from the, All right. the hot honey, but just from the It does kind of look funny. Cooking. It's a little... It's a, little, a, little a little funny? A little, uh, a little, little thick little, in the middle. A little, little phallic? <laughs> a little thick in the middle. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to take just a tip. You're going to circumcise it? Just a tip. <laughs> circumcise it? <laughs> so when you're cutting into long and thin <laughs> um, or any kind of meat, to be totally honest and all jokes aside, you want to cut against the grain. And if you can't figure out where the grain is, like looking at this, you would have no idea where that's at. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much anywhere you go on a pork loin, loin you're going to be able to cut across like this and you're against the grain. Now, you could also that way, but either way. Once you find a have... direction, just stick with it. Yes. Yeah, see, I'm still a little pink right there. I think it'll be fine. It looks good to me. Yep. Yep, yep. In fact, I am probably a little too pink right there. So I'm going to cut from the other end, and then I'm going to stick her back in the oven. Oh, I think it's fine. That thick part just is too pink. I think you're being overly sensitive. I am overly sensitive. You know this. I know. Well, and I'll sh I'll show you why. I mean, like you guys can't really see that. Like right there is still a, a wee bit on the pink side. Okay. I can see it just barely, but not very much. The poor pork loin. Yeah. We're just going to... No, actually, not too bad. It's just that wood. Yeah, it's just that one little piece. Just right there in the thickest part. Didn't quite get as done as you would want it to. Everything else did, though. Look at how mm -hmm. juicy that is, too. I mean, that's... Yep. So, we'll, whatever we don't eat, we'll go on sandwiches tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And this was actually one of those pre-seasoned It was um, pork loins too. So it was a Cajun one, wasn't it? Mm, sure. I don't even I remember. I think it was Cajun. Um, Are we about wrapped up? Well, we still got greeny beanies in there, don't we? Yeah. How about some questions while we wait on our final few minutes of the green beans? We've only got a couple minutes left. On the green beans? Yeah. So. Okay. Um, so, um, any questions on the drink? Questions? Any questions? Comments? Smart remarks? I'll take those too. Had a few of those today already. We, I think we, we quieted all the guys up. They saw what you did to that uh, pork <laughs> tenderloin, and then they're all quieting up, just we'll call, grabbing all we'll the stuff. We'll call that a bobbit cut. Yep. Um, well, you know, pork loins are funny, funny looking sometimes. So we're eggplants. Mm -hmm. um. you know one of those? <laughs> Thank you, Brady. We love you too, Brady. <laughs> you know, once a soup pie, always a soup pie. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Um, tis, tis why I'm the cool wife. Yeah. I can't say that publicly. Um, okay, you got. You have to have questions. I just know you have questions.
So what, what kind of sides are you guys having next Thursday that you would like us to, in 30 seconds, there, yeah, there you go. Make, Give you a recipe real fast. Make it different. Oh, boy, you're, you're going to have to fix me another one of these for that. I might. Anything? What's your favorite side? Mashed potatoes. Okay. We've made mashed potatoes a million times on here. Um, so by now, hopefully we know how to make mashed potatoes, but butter, mm -hmm. whole milk, or butter and cream. Yep. Um, Alexa, cancel. Cancel. Um, Loaded mashed potatoes, just like you would do. Alexa, cancel. Just like you'd do a loaded baked potato, except mash the hell out of them? Yes. So some cheddar cheese or Cabot's macaroni and cheese cheese that I love. Perfect. Um, some crispy crumbled bacon, some sour cream in that mix, some garlic in that mix, some yeah. chives in that mix. Yep. Salt. Pepper. And salt and pepper, absolutely. And mix all of that up. And I actually make a twice baked potato casserole that's pretty oh. similar to that too. Oh, Josh has a question about squash. What about squash? You like squash. You like squash. <laughs> I mean, like that can that's a lot of rabbit holes right there. Yeah. Um, I, I am hunting Brady, by the way, this weekend. So Yes. <laughs> um, not rabbit, however. So so two ways that I love squash and then i will let my mother tell you how i don't love squash um i love spaghetti squash mm -hmm. just cooked and then like pulled so you get that spaghetti string with some butter um salt and pepper and it it has plenty of flavor that way i love um butternut squash in fact i have one i haven't cooked yet i have a little one so butter butternuts are these little guys yeah. um I cook these whole, I bake them whole, and then I cut them up and pull the stuff, you know, pull the innards out to make soup. Um, I also like them roasted, like cut in half, then sliced, roasted with sliced apples and whatever seasoning you want on top of that. Um, and just kind of roasted like you would do root vegetables. Yeah. That's incredible. So. Um, squash puree. Um pureed or mashed with sweet potatoes would be good pumpkin and sweet potatoes is good so brady's yeah. asking if there if there are any venison recipes coming soon uh we don't get our venison back until probably mid-december mid so yes yeah we'll have we'll have something <laughs> not, not soon soon but yes late december early january mid-january We'll have a couple of venison recipes. I will tell you what I'm planning to do for Christmas. I'll jump a holiday and then we'll look at these big uh, green beans. Green green green. Green. Um, my husband has promised me he's going to pull the whole venison loin out for me. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I can smoke the whole loin Yep. because I cannot right now afford to purchase a beef loin <laughs> to do this mm -hmm. with. Um, so we're going to smoke it, and and I we saw won't do this. that on camera. Just no, because oh gosh, no, that'll take too long. Smoking takes um, hours. We'll give you some updates though on Christmas, yeah. Christmas yeah. Eve and day, on how that's going. But that that's the plan mm -hmm. for Christmas dinner. We usually do prime rib, but I yeah. wanted I wanted to do something a little bit different. Yeah, I get you a back strip. Um, I get you a couple. So we're gonna do that, and and then we'll have plenty of um, yeah. Plenty of venison recipes. I can have one of those probably Sunday. Well, I have a tenderloin and we're doing for Thanksgiving, but yeah. well, um, I mean, by Sunday, I can probably have you a back strip. No, I know. I'm sure. Um, keep them coming. We're, I'll show you the screen bean casserole. All right. Uh, I'll and again, it it's not your, your runny cream of mushroom soup. No, it's not. Laden. Okay. We'll go to that. Camera. Oh, sorry. Uh, right. It's just easier. Um, so I will. I have a plate. My jeans are falling off. I keep having to pull them up. Um, and I have a spoon. Well, Brady, let me know if you want a deer. I can probably get you a whole deer. Oh yeah, just. I have two tags, but only freezer space for one. So if somebody else wants the other one. Look, all it'll cost you is the processing costs. Pretty much, yeah. All which right. is about $75. Yeah, it's not very much. No. 
We're going to get all fancy here. How's that? Looks good to me. All right. You could scoop this out with a spoon if you wanted to. Oh, man. Deb is saying for the first time in years or ever, we aren't having a typical Thanksgiving. Our family is coming in for the evening after they already had their Thanksgiving dinner. So we are having tacos and desserts. Hey, you know and what? We'll play I play am... our annual family gift slash dice game. I am down for whatever works yeah. for the family. Well, you could always use your turkey enchiladas. Yeah, you're going to have leftover turkey. Did, that we had just last week. We'll make that pretty. There we go. Yeah, so, it, it oops, is sorry. a expensive to, for outer staters to come to Illinois. Um, okay, so hot honey glazed carrots that I cooked in the Instant mm -hmm. Pot with. Um, oh, that looks good. Shoot, would you get hot this out honey? of the way, please? What? Uh, well, that. I need to set this plate down because it's hot, yeah. All right, watch out. Sorry, then I'll tell you what we got going on here. Just back on the stove. Um, I, thank you. All right, here we go. Little okay, starting over. Hand. Hot honey glazed carrots with the hot ones, honey nugget, nugget honey. Um, you could do this in a variety of manners. Regular honey, if you don't want the heat. Um, saute some jalapenos like my mom was asking about. Mm -hmm. Any combination thereof. Um, or just regular honey and or brown sugar together. Melted butter, all of that cooked down, and then it's going to glaze over, and you can't really see that, but it's going to glaze over. Thank you. You need that. Um, you're gonna, you need we're going to eat. chewing here in a second. A little bit of a different take on the green bean casserole. Water chestnuts. Wanted pearl onion, so if you can find those, use those instead, but I use shallots and sweet onion. Mm -hmm. um, made as a cream cheese, cream sauce. Faked the umami from mushrooms because chili doesn't like them, and that's fine. And then oh. just the pork loin over here, which mm. was um, mostly so we would have meat mm -hmm. <laughs> for dinner, to be honest with you. Mm. And there you go. Um, you need to take a bite of that. That's I'm going to, but we're going to set this pretty plate aside because I need to take a picture of that one. Oh, okay. And we're going to make another plate that's a little, a little less. Okay, well, I'm... And we'll eat off of that one. Okay. I'm going to have green beans. Right <laughs> I'm sneaking green beans, folks. So um, you know they're good if I'm sneaking green beans. Yeah, and it's just, you know, if you... It's just a different take on... Same old stuff. Yeah, there we go. Instead of being the same old stuff. Exactly. It's, it's a little bit different to it now. Of course, I didn't, you know, cook this, but why? Uh huh. I do. Oh yeah. Oh, it like melts in your mouth though. Yeah, it's really good. It that way. I think I did these, the Cajun. These smoke really fast too. So if you've got a smoker, mm -hmm. mm. I've got. Hmm. Those are good. I'm the glad hot I. Honey, yeah. I'm glad I did that with the prosecco though because it mm -hmm. balanced that heat. Because this is super hot. The uh, first time I ate some of that, I about croaked. Mm -hmm. Okay, clearly mm -hmm. I'm going to use my fingers. That's fine. Yeah, oh. you. you got to turn it back on us for crying out loud. I'm trying. <laughs> Here we go. All right, everybody. We're going to eat dinner. It's going um, take a couple cocktails. I like water chestnuts. We'll see you all later. Any more final questions? Those are like incredible. Mm -hmm. Not really good. I'm, it's almost like I've mm -hmm. never done it this way before. But you have. <laughs> Only once. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> to test the recipe. We'll see you, everybody. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Uh, good oh, week. wait, 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 wait. Oh. Next week. We are not going to be on Monday. We are going to be on Sunday night, the 21st. Oh. Because on Monday night, I have a pre existing engagement. So With the author gonna, of the Outlander book. So I'm going to hurry home. You're usually home by lunchtime anyway, but... Um, uh -huh. Usually. So we're going to continue this whole turkey conversation. I'm just not sure how yet. So if you have... You guys had great ideas last week, so give me some more ideas for next week. Um, we could we could talk more about dressing and stuffing with a few recipes. Yeah. 
Um, we can do desserts or appetizers. Let's, How about apps and desserts? Apps and desserts sounds good to me. Okay. Because we can have a, a dessert mm. cocktail or we can have an appetizer cocktail. Ooh, we could do a pecan pie cocktail. Probably. No, I'm pretty sure I've got everything to do that with. All right. We'll <laughs> see you later, folks. All right, guys. Have a good evening. Have a good week. We'll see you.